What's up guys? This is Faru from the African Fighters. UFC on ESPN 38 this weekend or UFC Vegas 57 if you want to call it that way. It's happening this Saturday at UFC Apex. And we have some African fighters on this card. First of all, we'll be looking at um Tafon on Chukwi. The Don taking on Carlos Blackjack Uberg, the New Zealander. Um, in the light heavyweight division and also be looking at um, JP Bays taking on Cody Dondin in the flyweight division, main flyweight division. So I'm going to start with Tafoni Chukwi versus Carlos Oberg. Tafoni Chukwi 6 and 6 and 2 record. He has 4 wins by KO, TKO, 2 wins by, deci two wins by decision from Cameroon, 6 foot 0, weighing 205 and and one and a half pounds um he has the reach of 77 inch um hand reach and leg reach of 41 inch and then we'll look at um carlos black jack Oberg. um six um he has a record of four four and one record i think there's a mistake here not really a mistake i think ufc included his kickboxing record um but his actual record on topology share dog and major sides is four and one record so four wins two wins by qtq and two wins by decision none of these fighters have won via submission his carlos Oberg is from new zealand he's six foot four the taller man 204 pounds 77 inch hand reach so the same hand reach and um, 43.5 inch leg reach so he has the leg reach advantage Oberg has the leg reach advantage and also has the height advantage um, so these guys has, have similar records if you look at the wins um, before going to the wins I'll also note some few things to note um, Tafon Chukwi has fought the better fighter he has the better record he has the advantage in the, when it comes to mixed martial arts he has fought eight times in the octagon uh, whereas Carlos Obok has just fought five times in total so Tafon Chukwi has defeated the likes of Mark, uh, Mike Rodriguez Williams Knight both fighting the UFC he recently lost to a very very tough um, knockout artist in Azamat Mozakanov in a fight which he was winning and then eventually got caught by a flying nail and uh, he lost the last fight um, so Tafon Chukwi has the better resume has fought tougher opponent better opponent has the powerful um, knockout power powerful hands and um, I think he has the advantage to his, to his side um, Carlos Oberg on the other hand has fought not very very well known guys like I said four five fights in five fights in total four wins one loss he, his only loss came against the fight the fight of the night um, against um, Kennedy Nzuchuku where they were swinging and trading shots tra trading strikes and Kennedy Nzuchuku won that exchange and won the fight knock knocking out Carlos Oberg Carlos Oberg is a kickboxer tactically sound fighter so i think he has the overall combined striking advantage to his arsenal but when it comes to the power knockout powerful punches knockout power i give it to tafon in chukui so let's go down to see their stats so if you can see wins by um tafon chukui 67 percent kotko rate um carlos over 50 percent kotko winning rate Carlos Oberg has a chance of submitting 17% submission rate even though he has not submitted anybody so far in his career he has a chance of submitting um, Tafon Chukwi has no submission rate he doesn't go for submission he's a striker he stands all the time and trade they have equal decision rate 33% decision rate wins by decision both of them have won two fights apiece by decision so total octagon time average fight time average fight time is 12 12.33 minutes Tafon and Chukwe has spent 12.33 minutes in the octagon whereas Carlos Oberg has spent 8.27 average time in the octagon when it comes to knockdown average Carlos Oberg um, lands 0.59 knockdown per 15 minutes whereas Tafon Chukwe 0.48 knockdown per 15 minutes so we're going to look at significant strikes you can see Carlos Oberg has advantage you can use the leg use the hand um, he has 8.76 um, strikes landed per minute compared to 6.12 by Tafon and Chukwi when it comes to significant strikes 61% significant strike 
Tafon and Chuki 52% significant strikes when it comes to strike absorb. Um, Carlos Ubok absorb more strike 4.02, Tafon and Chuki 3.87. And when it also comes to defense, they all have they all both have similar defense. Um, but uh, it seems um, Tafon and Chuki has the better defense 56% defense compared to 51% defense of um, Carlos Ubok. So this is it, guys. If you can see, when we come to the grappling, um, grappling exchanges. Um, Carlos Oberg 1.18 um, takedown per 15 minutes, 0 0.96 for Tafon Chuki by 15 minutes. When it comes to takedown accuracy, Carlos Oberg has landed 100% takedown accuracy when he goes for takedown. Tafon Chuki 57% takedown accuracy. When it comes to takedown defense, Carlos Oberg also have 100% takedown defense compared to 71% takedown defense for Tafon Chuki. So both of them have zero takedown. 15 minutes so not take them both of them but they both have similar grappling credentials so we'll look at this again quickly like i mentioned tafon chukwe has a better chance of winning by knockout um, um whereas um carlos Oberg has a chance of better chance of also winning has a good chance of winning by knockout as well but he has a better overall striking skills so he has high chance of of carlos Oberg winning by decision is very high both of them have no one by submission ever it's going to be right to see this fight going to the ground. So I think they'll keep the fight standing, they'll keep trading, and um, the tactical fighter, um, the most disciplined fighter, will win. If if Tafon Chukwe is a bit disciplined than he was in this last fight, more patient, calm, he doesn't gas out on time. I see Tafon Chukwe winning this fight easily because of his advantage and because of his um because of the, his powerful hands his powerful hand knockout power and also his experience but if he isn't careful Carlos Oberg will use this will use the distance use this kickboxing use his kicks use the striking um keep Tafo and Chukwe away from him and also win either on point or by KO TKO but for me I think I'll go with Tafo and Chukwe this time around he's looking forward to bouncing back so I see Tafo and Chukwe coming out roughing Carlos Oberg and winning Either dirty boxing winning by QOTQ or winning by decision on points. So here you have it guys. Make sure to like this video, share it out in the comment section, and um subscribe to our channel, take us to ten thousand subscribers. Peace out, see you some other times. Bye for now. Come on, Africans! Ah,